Welcome into the latest edition then of Extra Time. Shaq is here. What are you smiling at, Shaq? Uh, and Craig. <laughs> yeah, just and Craig. He's been grumpy all day. It's been great. Yeah, of course he has. It's been the best FIFA best award. Hey, Shaq, I thought your name was Nigel. How come you've got Howard on your shirt? <laughs> Why is his name Nigel? <laughs> Where's he got Nigel from? His name's Nigel. Neil. Neil. <laughs> Neil. All right, Nigel. <laughs> hey, Nigel. Nigel. <laughs> yeah, OK. Hey, Nigel. Oh, my so God. So it's not Nigel. I'm a matter. There you go. Neil, it's Neil. Yes, it is Neil. Why did I have Nigel I in my head? I have no idea, Greg. Why you got Nigel? I don't know what's in my head today, but I had Nigel well, in yeah, my head. Yeah, well, I've done. It looks a bit like a Nigel. No, it is it. Nigel, doesn't it? It looks like a Nigel. <laughs> I don't know what a Nigel looks like. <laughs> I look like a Nigel. Nigel Neil. Yeah. <laughs> Nigel Neil. All right. Uh, will Premier League fans stop calling. Howard. But will, will Premier Howard League fans stop <laughs> calling other leagues Farmers League? Now that City are winning titles in January and Coutinho is playing like he never left. Who's worried about it? About what being well, called... well, people worried about. I, I, people get. get this is worked the same up, people that you think uh, on the live show are really interested in the FIFA team on YouTube. Yeah. What? This is Twitter. This is YouTube, is it? Same thing. No, not necessarily. It's the same They're different things. The same people. Duplicates. <laughs> Bots. Uh, Shaka, you call all the leagues farmers' leagues. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 everybody's a farmer's league. Listen, That's if, City's, if City wins this is about four and five years, yes. I mean, it's no different from anybody else, is it, really? There you are. Everyone's a farmer league. Uh, for Frank, should Mbappe yeah. be... Should Mbappe be... We've been included in the best 11. <laughs> yeah, who cares? Uh, of course, of course, he's one of the best players <laughs> in the world, so he should be in the list. Uh, but as I said, you know, get the defenders out of the list, put <laughs> yeah. 10 de uh, strikers <laughs> or, or, you know, left wings or right wings and, uh, and uh, I, right, well, you know, like that you will have Mbappe, Salah <laughs> and some others, <laughs> you know, and every, everybody <laughs> will enjoy, you know, but who would Mbappe you have should be in the list, Frank? for sure. Ronaldo, Messi, Lewandowski, Haaland, who would you have in Mbappe ahead of? Oh my God, that's difficult. Um, do I have to choose? <laughs> that's difficult. Um, yes. I think Mbappe did. I, Mbappe, I think I think Mbappe did better than Alan. Last really? Year. And who? Okay, then then Erling Haaland. Oh, okay. What does Nigel think? No, <laughs> Nigel's gone. <laughs> He's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> what, Neil, what about Neil? <laughs> Nigel, well, I mean, if there was a World Cup final, which goalie would you start? Donnarumma no, or Neuer? <laughs> Nige? <laughs> What's that? What's the question? Donnarumma or Neuer? Who are you starting in the World Cup final? Mendy. If that World Cup final was being played tomorrow, <laughs> I'd still go Manuel Neuer. Boom. There you go. Do players care about individual <laughs> awards? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? Do you care about individual awards? Uh, Neymar does. Slightly hypocritical here. Well, yeah, because you want Scot <laughs> Scottish all the well, all the strikers right player do. of the year, yeah? Well, uh, yeah. Which you do care about, because you talk, talk about it a lot. Yeah, it's, but it's a very prestigious award, that one. Really? <laughs> As opposed to the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> Scottish Football Writers <laughs> Player <laughs> of the Year. Well, 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 Craig <laughs> talks about playing basketball for Scotland a lot as well. I'm not sure he <laughs> yeah. cares so much about that. <laughs> every show, every show, Listen, I played, I played it's basketball a very proud on the 15th for Scotland, right, you know? by the football writers in Scotland. <laughs> look, look, you've given a speech now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had to give a speech that night at the Black Tie do. Right, Boom. so you do care about individual awards? Only the ones that I win. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, Shaka, you, when you won Hammer of the Year, uh, did you care? Uh, no. no I, I, I cared more Ooh. that Ooh. we finished fifth in, in the league. But it must have been a nice moment. The icing on the cherry on the cake for you, Shaq. Hammer of the year. Hammer of the year. Hammer yeah, of the no, year. It's, it's, it's Nigel nice. Nigel Hislop. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's nice, but if I didn't win it, it wouldn't have changed anything about how I felt about that season. Frank, have you ever won an individual award? 
Uh, I don't think so. Maybe some uh, fan uh, branches, you know, in the Chelsea that I want, you know, or something. But uh, no, no, no. And I'm not, I'm not interested. You know, that's that's the thing about. If I wanted to have individual awards, I know I would have played tennis, I guess. But right. it's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Came second in the most hated ex Chelsea players. You did come second in the most hated ex Chelsea. Chrissy Sutton Sutter won it. <laughs> can, you, can, you can even win that. Well, as I told you before on this show, that they, they were actually voting against me because they knew I wanted to win. Yep. Uh, I've read this, but I thought second was okay, but nobody really remembers second place. No. Uh, Frank, will Tuchel get sacked if Chelsea don't win anything this season? Oh God! I don't think so. I, 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 I don't want to because I think he he did enough to show that uh, he has the talent to bring the club to the to the highest level. And again, we talked about it. You know, if you have too many players injured, even if you buy Lukaku, you know what you can expect from the from your team. It becomes not average because Chelsea is not average, but you're not good as Manchester City. Uh, mm. and, and maybe Liverpool, so it's hard to, to defend yourself. Uh, hopefully he can have a better season with less injuries and, uh, and show that he's, uh, because I think he is, one of the best coach in the world. What do you think? No? No? I don't think so. Well, next, if it, would ha if it was to happen again... Right. I think he would probably get away with it this year. Yeah, he's still got the Champions got League the ball, in the Yeah, he's got the Champions League anyway, and some domestic cups. But he would go to the board and say, look, here's the problems. I think they've got enough trust in them for the time being. Here's what we need to fix. And I think they would back him again. But I think if we're in the same scenario the next season, they're so ruthless there, it would be like, right, yeah, that's done, it. move on. Frank, who is the one player who could help Chelsea bridge the gap between them and Manchester City? Kylian Mbappe. The guy is yeah. free next summer, you know. There you go. And, uh, and, uh, and and when I see when I see the players at front, you know, obviously Kylian Mbappe would make a huge difference for Chelsea. Yeah. I tell you what, there's two players that really spring to mind. Well, Mbappe's one of them. Kevin De Bruyne and Mo Salah. Right. I don't think they're going to get them. No, but they had them. Uh, that's true. Yeah, it's mm. true, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they had yeah. them. They yeah. had them, and they just went. I know, it's amazing how you forget that, it's yeah, crazy. Mo Salah yeah. and Kevin De Bruyne was deemed not to be, I'm not saying not good enough, not to be ready yeah. for Chelsea. You think that motivated them? Uh, I, I bet it did. I bet it did. I bet it did. What is the best football song released by a professional club? Oh. This was, the, this was of course, the back of uh, Stevie yesterday doing the Anfield rap. Oh, 97 Cup Final one, Frank, I think it might be. And how did that go? Can't remember. Yes. How did it go, Frank? Oh, that was great. We, we, we showed to the world that we were awful singers, but we enjoyed it. So well, that give was us a great. Give we us a little, uh, give us a little a... insight. I, I, I don't remember. Um, it's this, that's not Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, we're going to make it a blue day. Chelsea, is it? Chelsea ch with Suggs. With yes, Suggs, that's is that what it is? Yeah? Yes. Chelsea, Chelsea. And we did one in 94 for the cup final che as well. Chelsea, Chelsea, it's going to be a blue day. Chelsea, there you go, Chelsea. beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Did you get paid for that? No, no, of course not, but we had the chance to sing with uh, Madness, Sun. the singer of yeah. Madness. Songs from Madness, That was yeah. uh, fantastic. And I think we were in the best... Uh, we were in the charts. I think we went down the charts very that, well. Yeah, that you know, that was well, one that, yeah, that stuck, didn't it? We were in the charts, but we didn't like sort of individual awards, so we didn't like... <laughs> Shaq, when West Ham <laughs> played <laughs> Liverpool, <laughs> FA Cup, did you, did you sing a song? No. Nah. He, dro he dropped the mic. No. We did nothing of the sort. Oh. I just remember um, when Trent Tobago when we went to the World Cup. I can't remember if it was in between qualifying and going, or immediately yes. after the World Cup. A few players, a few players went to a studio and recorded a song. I am happy to report I was not one of those players oh, because the no. song was an absolute disaster. <laughs> it was a disaster. Do you remember that band? Do you remember the band Delamitri? Yes. Yes. Big band back in the day. Yeah. They, they record, we didn't do a song, but they recorded a song for the Scotland 1998 right. World Cup team. Yeah. And part of it was, I don't know if this was the name of it, but part of the song lyrics was Don't Come... Don't Come Home Early or Don't something? Come Home Too Soon. Yeah, that was it. I remember that. And I'm like... Oh. I must not have watched... No, no, it didn't resonate. 
You came home sooner than everyone. Uh, oh, we come home. We come. We come home at the same time as we always came home at. Well, you were a little earlier because you got sent off. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't come home. Still there. Still there. Just you know, supporting the boys. Supporting the boys in the bath. Yeah. As the Moroccan third goal was going in, I was in the. I was in there having a cup of tea. Oh. Right when the it's in St Etienne. <laughs> So now you ate that stadium. I knew it wasn't us that scored. <laughs> I thought, oh, it's either 2 1 or 3 0. Yeah. Mm, I'll go 3 0. Oh. St Etienne, I freaking hate that place. Yeah, I know. I remember you saying you hated St Etienne. I hate St Etienne as a, as a place. I hate that stadium. What else happened there that you hate? I, got, I, got, I gave a penalty away against France. Oh. And a friendly. That was the day that I thought I was talking to Frank. But it was Fabian I was talking Bartes. to Fabian Bartes. <laughs> That's true. Uh, hey, I wasn't there, I swear. <laughs> I was, I was shouting at there. Frank, I didn't talk <laughs> Frank. I wondered, I said, why is Frank get gloves on today? A uh, couple of uh, Everton questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Shaka, what is the point of Everton? <sighs> they aren't quite bad enough for relegation, not nearly good enough for European places and aren't entertaining to watch like Leeds, Brentford or Villa. Lots of money spent to end up in the same place and rehiring past managers is madness. Yep. Uh, and, and to the question, what, what's the point? And, and I think the disappointing thing is, Everton are a big club, you know, or, albeit, and Everton fans won't like me saying this, uh, a lot of times they've kind of lived in the shadow of Liverpool. But I think people forget how, how well, potentially big Everton uh, as a club really is. And, and to see this kind of, to see them languishing the way that they are, is, is both surprising and disappointing. To, to football romantics like myself. Oh yeah, big football. You've been doing some research about this. You're well, speaking to your sources about Roberto Martinez. Well, it was Moshiri that sacked Martinez in 2016. Kenwright didn't want to sack him. Uh, and Kenwright wanted to, Bill Kenwright wanted to bring him back, apparently, and Moshiri wanted Benitez. Right. So there's a conflict at boardroom level of, of some capacity. But why the hell would Roberto Martinez, who at one point seemed as if... Well, he's linked to Barcelona. Linked to Barca, and it was Real Madrid. Yeah. One, he's managing Belgium, who are not favourites to win the World Cup, but they've got a chance to go there and be competitive. Why would he want to go into this dumpster fire? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't understand, unless he's got some sort of report. Yeah, Belgium have said it's not happening, he won't be doing... And, and Belgium have said he can't do the two jobs as, as a Belgian manager and Everton as an interim. And in, the, Everton don't need that either. But the whole thing doesn't make sense. OK, whether you agree with Benitez or not, how the hell can you then back Benitez against Marcel Brands, the director of football, against the head of sports science, who was biffed out, and against Lucas Digne, the yep. left back. They've backed him in all those things, said, OK, we need to make changes at this club, so we're backing you. And then two results later, they sack him. Yep. It just doesn't make any sense. Frank, would Mourinho all. be a good fit for Everton? Oh, God, no. Uh, if they have the... I don't think so. If they have the money to... Uh, to spend for Mourinho to hire some players, why not? But for an immediate um, reaction, I would say, and change, no, I don't think so. I think I think clubs like Everton, they have to go back their their, their sources. You know that the club have to hire, have to get the academy from players from the academy to make sure that they they build something. There is no. It's like for me, there is no foundation w anymore to those clubs who uh, really brought the essence of football in, in England. They don't use that anymore. They want to do like the others. They want to buy mm. players. They, they think that the chemistry will come up and that's enough for the success. Now, you have to go back to your essence and your es the essence of Everton is to, to get the good players and make them better. I think the only way the Martinez deal would, would materialise is, is, is if he makes a push for it. But why would you do that no. when you've got a World Cup in, at the end of uh, the year? If Belgium have a really good competitive World Cup, who knows, then his stock is back on that market again. Oh, by the way, it'll be January by the time it finishes. And who's looking for managers in January? Quite a few teams. Yeah. Uh, Lampard's name's been mentioned. Not bad. Uh, I personally like yeah. Graham Potter at Brighton, right? but I think he's one of the best up-and-coming managers in England, for sure, if not further afield than that. 
But again, for the same reasons, why would he take a chance? It just seems a mishmash of a club in terms of decision making. Sure. There's no long term view. And I think, I, I thought Potter would have been a good long term appointment at Tottenham because I don't think Conte will, I think eventually Conte will, there'll be no more teacups left for him to smash. And he'll go eventually. And I think Potter would have been a good shout long term there. But Everton, man, it's just disappointing to see the way they're doing their business. Final question for Shaka Who is more biased? Between Craig and Frank. Well, bi biased at what? Frank. <laughs> Frank, Frank, Frank. At least with, with Frank, you know, Frank backs Chelsea and Frank backs French players, regardless. Uh, everything are. else is unbiased. But uh, other than other than Scottish basketball, Craig's oh. just determined to upset everybody equally. Thank you, Nigel. Yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up nicely. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, Ashley. These, uh, thank you, Ashley Brown. <laughs> I don't understand the bias thing. It's like, well, people say you're anti-Manchester United, don't you? you get that. Well, I'm anti people. Yeah, yeah. Everybody thinks I'm biased against no, their club. Yes. Everybody thinks they're biased. Yeah, correct. Correct. Against everybody club. equally. Yes. Correct. And that's how it should be, Shaq. Uh, that is it. We are Spread done. Spread the yeah. hate. Uh, we, we'll be back uh, tomorrow. Are you here tomorrow? You're not. No, I'm not. I've seen the schedule. Yeah, I know I'm not. <laughs> and we're not talking about FIFA. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.